Okay, so in this clip, we're gonna do a quick and snappy Bet Angel software review. Okay, so since reviewing a couple of the other softwares on YouTube, um, we've been asked why we haven't done a Bet Angel software review. The answer being we just purely haven't had time. So now we're going to take a look at a couple of the different interfaces with Bet Angel, the overall usability um, and value for money as per usual. Uh, on top of that, it's worth saying I have toyed around with Bet Angel in the past. It's not one that I use primarily, although I am aware of its features. Um, I've had a few beers with Peter Webb, its founder, over time, so it should be quite easy to cover. So if we move straight over to the website, you can see um, you've got the home screen there. There's different benefits and features listed about the Bet Angel Office software. Um, the first thing to note, top left there, you've got two weeks free trial to use the Bet Angel software if you want to. Um, again, you've got extra tools, we'll come into a little bit later. Uh, automation, if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, and the instant refresh. So moving on to the next screen um, about Bet Angel Professional, which is their main product, you can see that you've got a few extra features there. Guardian uh, allows you to link in an Excel spreadsheet for automation, and then you've got Tennis Trader, Soccer Mystic, and InPlay Trader as well. Personally, I haven't ever found a use for those three um, bolt-ons, if you like. I know they can be quite popular, but the problem I found with them was that they didn't necessarily have um, the correct pricing information for, for future sort of movements within the market. If you've, if you've toyed around with that, you know what I'm talking about. So looking at the different cost structures, there's six different options for um, purchasing Bet Angel. The first one is a pound for a day, completely reasonable. Um, it's worth giving it a crack just to give it a blast. Beyond that, you don't actually make any further saving if you get it for a month. It's 30 quid for a month. Two months, you get a tenner discount each month. The same discount applies for, for three months. And then, you know, it's a little bit cheaper if you're going for six months or if you want it annually. Annually, it's £150, uh, which makes it the most expensive out of all the different trading softwares. And there isn't a, a lifetime option offered for purchasing this particular software. So if we move further on uh, to support for Bet Angel, the first thing you'll see is up the top there in the center is user forum tab. Uh, it's a relatively popular forum that gets used for Betfair trading. You might want to check it out. Uh, typically, it's, it's sort of the same post as most of the time. Um, I know Peter's on there a hell of a lot, so if you want to ask him a question, then uh, you can probably catch him under there as a EULA. Um, and beyond that, if you want direct support and you've got a support query about the software, there's a contact tab over there on the side which we'll click through in a second. First of all, you get the FAQs, which is obviously, you know, it's quite helpful. Save a little bit of time if you can read through the different questions and answers rather than submit a ticket. Um, and beyond that, up on the top right, there's a contact support button, which allows you to submit a form about a specific question, um, as you can see on the screen. Now, that's broken then down into technical and billing, and beyond that, they want to know whether it's low priority, high priority, etc. Um, I'm not sure how they manage that because I haven't actually ever had to support, uh, submit one of those tickets. So I've obviously got personal contact for Peter. So if we move straight over to the software interface, first of all, you're greeted with the one-click screen. Now the one-click screen is very much like the Betfair interface. It's just a far, far more responsive as you'll see when the market livens up. Um, there's about, well, it's a 1610 at the moment at Carlisle, so we'll move to a more active race that's nearer to the start just to see this software in action basically on the screen. So if we go over to the market selector um, and we can break down, it's broken down by sports. Um, this, this often gets a little bit confusing, I find, when you're trying to find a specific market. So it might be easier if you just go with the quick picks tab at the top. That puts everything in time order, making it far easier to find the actual market that you want. So if we select the uh, 335 of Carlisle, you can see the market's a little bit more active here. So at the top, you can see we've got the trading volumes, the amount of money that's been matched. Um, it's obviously sort of like a, a carbon copy of Betfair website, making it easier to use, which is quite good, really. And then moving on, we've got the, the ladder interface. The ladder interface has similar characteristics at the top there, except everything's expressed in vertical format rather than horizontal. Ladder's been you know, massively popular amongst traders ever since it was introduced by racing traders in the early uh, 2000s. So beyond that, you've got a few extra charts, which I'll put on the screen now. Um, and they, the way they work is they open up in separate windows and then you overlay them on the software. And then you can hit that little blue pin icon to uh, pin it to the top. Um, you can see at the top there as well, we've got the time to the start of the race, the usual sort of credentials um, around about uh, to do with a race. We've got the overrounds for back and lay, total volumes, 
and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what you've got there for now. We'll go through the rest in a second. Aside from that, you've got uh, traded charts which you can put onto the right hand side of the screen. Um, we'll play around with them a little bit more in a second. Um, but you can just see that the money is starting to filter into this market, the numbers are moving and that's what the instant refresh is all about. So with the extra chart and windows, I find that sometimes it's a little bit frustrating because you have to overlay them individually and then if you want to change which chart is representative of which column, um, you have to do it you know, one by one, it's a, it's a bit more individual. Um, so that's probably the only negative I could say really about the ladder interface. Other than that, it's, it's, you know, it's a good, good quality product. Um, total volumes were quite clear. You can set the pink uh, zone to most recently match money, uh, and then you've got the market overview. I've set it up to so the market overview on the on the right there, so you can plot all the different runners against each other. With that one, you can zoom in and out. You know, you can deselect and select which runners are on the market overview from the tick boxes on the right. Um, beyond that, you've got settings and features and stuff at the top here. If we untick that, you'll see that a tab disappears along the top, and that's how we change between the different interfaces inside Bet Angel. So, obviously, charts, um, and then if we click a couple of the others, you've got Dutch in bookmaking. I don't, I'm not too sure how most of them work, because to be honest, I've never tried bookmaking and all that sort of stuff within the software. But there's there's a lot of extra features there, um, which may may not be used to, to other people. Obviously, you can link in your Excel spreadsheet if you're one of those people that are automation inclined. So having quickly flicked through and we'll come back to the main screen um, and we'll edit a pre-selected profile because um, much like any of the decent softwares you can actually set your own personal profile for the interface um, how you like, save it and then come back at a later date. Um, we change a few of the pre-selected inputs here as well um, just to show you how things change. On the ladder interface in fact we'll, uh, we'll remove a column um, and then add it back in so you can see in the background there uh, how things change. So if we do that now and say that you'll see the columns disappeared and so the streaming chart and information has got a little bit larger over on the right. Now it's like I said it's a little bit cluttered there because there's so many different windows open at the moment but if you uh, play around with the software you'll see exactly how it works. Aside from that you've got your chart and graph buttons at the top there. Um, you can have separate streaming charts again in separate uh, windows overlaid on the top and then you can pin them just like that there. Um, so you can kind of set it up how you want on screen, um, it just means having lots of different windows open, that's all. Okay, so the charting on the side there is, is for, a, for a single runner. So in terms of usability that's fine, but you kind of have your cursor over each runner. So if you want to have them separate, you have to have the separate windows open because you know when you're moving your cursor over the screen it changes which one you're, you're highlighting there. Um, but you know it does what's required. Personally, I feel it's a little bit cluttered, and that may be because I don't use it on a regular basis. To be quite honest with you, if it's you know it's like anything. If you get used to using it all the time, it becomes a little bit easier. So the last thing to mention would be Soccer Mystic, Tennis Trader, and the like on the the header bar up the top there. Now they are extra bolt-ons, and basically the whole concept around them is they will tell you the price something that should be within a, a particular tennis match or football match, and so you can sort of exploit that. For example, if a goal goes in with football, then it tells you what the price should be after market suspension. Like I said earlier on, um, I personally couldn't find any use for these purely because. Uh, the odds predictions weren't that accurate. Whether there's something else to that that I'm not aware of, I don't really know. Uh, but that pretty much concludes the whole of Bet Angel Professional for Betfair. Okay, so on the whole, it's a decent piece of trading software. Um, I wouldn't deter anyone from using it. It certainly does uh, all that is required if you're looking to trade betting exchanges manually or even automated. Um, my preference is still for the Geeks toy. That is the number one in my eyes. Although Bet Angels definitely up there in the top three um, in terms of popularity in Betfair trading software. So if there's anything else that you think that I might have missed with this review and you'd like to add to it, feel free to drop it in the comments below.